Hey, do you have about 10 minutes? It only takes about 10 minutes to make one of these towel toppers and then you can apply it to any of the tea towels that you have in your house. Let me show you how to make a leafy top towel topper. Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. For today's tutorial we're going to make towel toppers just like so. This is the leafy top and I actually got this pattern from an existing pattern already on Yarnspirations and this is a strawberry. I really liked the towel topper. The instructions are right here. This will take me a little bit more than 10 minutes in order to show you how to do it because I'm gonna take my time. But once you get one of these done I just took a tea towel and I fanned it up and I slapped my stitch right through it so that I can hang this up when I'm not using it afterward. So this is a great little idea. I love the design. You can obviously change it to any colors that you wish. I did orange because I thought it complemented the green quite nicely. So today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make one of these. Today's tutorial you're either going to need Lily Sugar and Cream or Bernat Handicrafter depending on where you live may have access to this. You're also gonna need a size G 4 millimeter crochet hook today and you just have to do one solid color but again this is your creativity. You can change it as many colors as you want and choose any color that you wish. So let's begin. I'm just going to start off with a slip knot leaving an extra long tail to begin just in case I want to deal with that afterward. It is going to go through the wash machine so you want to make sure that you are getting your loose ends all nice and snug into position. So we're going to start off with a slip knot and I want you to chain two. So let's do that. So one and two and then going to the beginning chain that you started with I want you to put five single crochets into that same stitch. This will make it go into a semicircle. So one two and three, four and five. And we're not gonna go all the way around. This is only a semicircle. So now what I want you to do is turn the project around and we're gonna start working going in the other direction. To begin row number two we're just going to begin by chaining one starting with this, the first one that is directly underneath. We wanna put two single crochets into that one and into every one of the five that are there. So that we come to the next one that's available to you and we put in two there as well. So two single crochets into each one of the stitches going across. So this went then from five stitches and by the time you finish it's gonna turn it into ten. And we come into our last one, getting our two in there and then that's row number two. So let's begin our next one. Let's turn our work and begin. Let's begin our next one. We're going to chain one and we're going to put in two single crochets into the same one there. The same stitch underneath and then the next one is going to be one. So the repeat pattern going all the way across is that the next one is gonna have two single crochets and then the next one will have one. Okay, so the next one is two single crochets and the next one will have one. Keep doing that all the way across. So the next one is two. So it's growing it evenly. And the next one is one and the next one is two and finally the last one is one. That last one's kinda tricky but I got it in there and that's good to go. So that is round number three. Let's turn our work and we're now going to move up to round number four. Again a very easy one. We're going to chain one first and we're going to single crochet into the same one here. So right underneath and then we're going to single crochet into the next one. And this is when we're going to start creating the fan shaped leaves. This is the, the foundation of it. So we're gonna chain six. One, two, three, four, five and six coming into the same stitch for a single crochet. Okay and then we're going to then put in two single crochets in a row. One and two. So then the next one is going to be the same thing that you just did here. So a single crochet to start and then we chain six. One, two, three, four, five and six and then single crochet into the same one and then single crochet into the next two. Okay, so we're gonna start out in the next one. So it's one single crochet 
and we're gonna do the six. Just so you know that see how it's right directly above? I know that I'm in the right position. So one, two, three, four, five, and six and then single crochet into the same one. And what do I mean by that is that there's only five leaves. So I notice that the middle leaf there is right on top of the, the middle one right there. So we're going to single crochet the next two and then the next one is another leaf. So single crochet, chain six, one, two, three, four, five, and six coming into the same one and then two more single crochets in a row. Okay, and then here's the next one. So here's the final leaf. So one, two, three, four, five, and six into the same one. Single crochet and then just single crochet finally into the last one just like so. Okay, so that's what it looks like at this point. This is uh, round number four, row number four. And the next one is our final row. And so it doesn't look like leaves yet but we're gonna be playing within these spaces next. So here's the concluding row. So we're gonna turn our work one more time and we're going to start off in chain one and single crochet into the very first one. And here's where we're going to start doing the repeat pattern. So the first, we just go right to the chain itself and we do one single crochet. We do a half double crochet. We do a double crochet. And then we do two treble crochets. So we wrap twice for the trebles. We do two of those. And this time what we're gonna do at this point is that we're kind of in the middle of the leaf. We're a little bit past it and we're going to chain three. So one, two, and three. And it's called a pico and you come into the beginning chain that you started with that three and pull through and through as a slip stitch. And then what we're going to do is then treble again back into the space. And we decrease it going back down the other side. So one treble, one double, one half double and one single. So you'll notice that this design because you trebled or you did this in the in the second one this pico it makes the leaves look like they're going on a slight twist which is kind of neat. So the next one that we just uh, jump over all of this section and just go right to the next gapping space. So we start off with a, a single. We have a half double. We have a double. We have two trebles. So remember to wrap that hook twice for trebles. And then this is where that pico is again. So we how to do that is you chain three, one, two, and three, going into the beginning chain of the three, pulling it through and through. And then you treble only once, coming down the other side. And then you double. You half double so you're getting smaller and smaller and then you single. And so just keep that same patterning going. So just immediately just start the next one and remember single, half, double, two trebles, the pico, a treble, a double, half double and single down there and I'll meet you back at the end of this line. So just keep repeating that. Once you get that final one in there just make sure that you just single crochet to the very last single crochet that's available like this and now you're done and you can fasten that off. So we're gonna do that and grab our fancy dancy scissors at this point and trim. And what I wanna use is a darning needle to hide in these loose ends. Remember that it's really important because this will go through the wash machine. So I wanna make sure that this is a really buried into the stitching as well as this as well. So the next part we're going to do is that we're going to create the the actual chain in order for you to be able to hang your tile topper. Let me show you how to do that because I got a little technique for you just in case you don't have two balls of yarn. For the tile topper hanger section right here is that you're going to want to use two strands but if you only have one yarn ball, no big deal. There's two uh, ends to the yarn, right? There's one on the inside of the ball and one on the outside. So what I need to do is that I create an extra long tail here because I'm gonna use this to go through the towel in order to put it with the darning needle and then I'm going to create a slip knot using both. So a nice thick chain just like so and what I want to do is when I begin I want to go through right through the center of your leaf. Okay and then I'm gonna use both strands and going around and pulling it through. I really don't want this falling apart in a washing machine so I just do that as an extra precaution. 
Okay, so I just do it the one time and then I let the stragglers fall out of the way so that I can use those afterward in order to sew the towel. So all I'm just going to do is just chain 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now I'm just gonna let more yarn come from here. That was 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And so I'm going to do this and slip stitch to this to the again to the center just like so and pull it through and through like so. And I'm going to leave a generous tail on this side as well so I can use those to sew in those in afterward as well. And I'm just gonna use this and I'm just gonna pull it through. And just with the darning needle I'm gonna bury that. So the beginning ones that I had started with for this chain is the ones that I'm going to use here in order to go through the towel. So I will, I'm gonna hide these ones in, I'm gonna hide these ones in and the towel what I'm gonna do is that you can grab any towel and just fold it into a fan shape just like so. So you put this here on a darning needle and essentially all you just wanna do is going right through the fan section of your towel just go right through and then just go on the other side like so. I went through twice and then bring it back through the other side. Go through the leaf one more time and then go back and then back to the front again and just make sure you tie it really good on the inside here and just weave in your loose ends so that you can hide in the ends. So that would be how you would make a towel topper and uh, just again just using a darning needle just go right through your work in order to make that happen and this will be a kind of a cool towel topper. On behalf of the Yarn Inspirations as well as the Crochet Crowd, thank you so much for joining me today.